Eddy Relay and Sensor Board is an additional accessory that can be purchased separately and installed inside the Eddy product in order to support extra configurations. These configurations can include heat pump or temperature sensor interface to measure the water temperature inside the hot water cylinder. The relay and sensor board can be installed either in a new Eddy or added to an existing device at any time. The accessory comes with a relay circuit board, four plastic standoffs and a ribbon cable. Start preparation by pushing the standoffs into the holes on the relay and sensor board. There is one standoff that has only one insert and take note of the location as pointed on the video. Then ensure that the ribbon cable is pushed into the board's terminal as presented. Now that the relay and sensor board is prepared, let's learn how to install it inside the device. Switch off the fuse spur and remove the fuse. You can now begin removing the bottom and top screws from the front of the eddy and remove the front cover. Take the relay board and gently attach the ribbon cable, ensuring the cable is pushed into the CPU terminal, as seen on the video. Secure the relay and sensor board by tucking it under the CPU. You should hear a couple of clicks when pushing in the standoffs. We will now quickly explain what terminals can be found on the relay and sensor board. As you can see, there are two PT1000 inputs to connect the temperature sensors, eSense input, relay 1 and relay 2 inputs. You can now begin reattaching the front of Eddy and switch on the device. Once your device is powered on, to access the relay and sensor menu, go to menu device settings and advanced. The code you will need to input is 0000, and then you can scroll down to relay and sensor menu. In the menu, you can find temperatures, relay one, relay two, and eSense input options. Refer to the installation manual for more details related to a specific configuration you're looking to set up. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos on our channel to find out more, like how to connect the temperature sensor or configure Eddy to work alongside heat pumps.